Russia's tanks in Ukraine may suddenly run out. Warnings are issued in this regard. American shells and ammunition are useful on the battlefield, but so far the weapons provided to Ukraine by Western countries have not had a decisive effect on the battlefield. This is written by the New York Times. Biden's decision made the main difference not on the battlefield, but among all the other countries that followed his example. Ben Barry, a senior fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, told the New York Times. Analysts say that the influx of Western aid has made it easier for Ukraine to defend its positions, but has not yet had a decisive effect. Since Russia retains a significant advantage in manpower and firepower, the New York Times interlocutors suggested that Russia will continue offensive actions for most of 2024. But at some point, it may face a shortage of tanks and armored vehicles. We have seen a really significant number of tanks and armored vehicles fighting on the Avdiivka front since October. And this rate of losses is probably not sustainable in the long term, said Rob Lee, a senior fellow in the Eurasia program at the Foreign Policy Institute. He also specified that Russian troops have not taken advantage of the Kharkiv offensive, although they have managed to force Ukraine to withdraw some forces from the Donbass. Ukrainian Lieutenant Denis Yaroslavsky noted that Ukrainian artillery brigades can now shell Russian troops more often. The Russian offensive has largely stopped, but south of Kharkiv in the Donbass, Russia has resumed attacks on Ukrainian positions, the article says. According to reports from soldiers on the front, military reports and satellite maps of the battlefield compiled by independent monitoring groups, the front line has not moved significantly in more than two weeks despite intense and bloody fighting. Russia is now forced to rely on aerial bombs and longer-range missiles, which are more expensive than artillery shells, the analysts explained. According to Ukrainian commanders, Russian forces advanced about six miles into Ukraine before becoming bogged down by more heavily fortified Ukrainian positions. The commanders also said more Ukrainian troops had arrived to contain the Russian advance and that more American ammunition was being delivered to the front lines. Lieutenant Yaroslavsky said Ukraine could hold its current positions by disrupting Russian logistics nearby by striking inside Russia. Russia's war against Ukraine also threatens Moldova, Georgia, NATO states, German Defense Ministry. According to the chief of the German Defense Ministry, Boris Pistorius, Russia's aggression currently threatens not only Ukraine but also Moldova, Georgia and all NATO countries. Six months ago, I first spoke about military potential. It was important to me that we pay attention to the value of security in general and take seriously the realities of the new security policy. Russia's brutal war against Ukraine, which violates international law, is an attack on our peace in Europe and around the world, notes the head of the German Defense Ministry. Pistorius emphasized that the criminal war unleashed by Russia against Ukraine is an attack on international order and freedom as Kremlin dictator Vladimir Putin refuses to recognize the sovereignty of Russia's neighboring states. When I visited Odessa last week, the war was everywhere. Destroyed houses, monuments covered with sandbags, a missile alert, seriously wounded soldiers in the hospital with whom I managed to talk. For Putin, these human destinies do not matter. He started a war and it will not stop. Airstrikes against Ukraine, in particular against civilian objects, have intensified again, the chief of the German Defense Ministry emphasized. He warned that Russia has long since transferred its economy to military lines and continues to produce a large number of weapons. Therefore, Pistorius emphasized that Western countries should not expect the Kremlin to stop its aggression outside Ukraine. After all, Russia also poses a threat to Georgia, Moldova and ultimately NATO. This is why we must continue to support Ukraine, ladies and gentlemen. The termination of our support will have fatal consequences in particular, but not only for Ukrainian air defense, stressed the head of the German Defense Ministry. He mentioned Germany's transfer of the third Patriot air defense system to Ukraine and the immediate air defense actions initiative, which made a significant contribution. Oh,